Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. On this video, I'm going to give you a review of the Evenflow Pivot Expand Stroller Travel System. Now, what you see here is that the stroller system comes with a toddler seat down at the bottom right here, and it comes with the infant carrier, which is up top there, and it comes with the base, which is in the trunk of the car right there. Before we continue, I'd like to ask if you're new to my channel, if you could please consider subscribing to my channel. Also, smash that thumbs up like button and please turn on that post notification bell so you'll be updated when I have new videos posted. So let's get started. The review I'm giving you on the stroller is based off of three years experience that I have with the stroller. So I want to go over some of the pros and cons of the stroller. I also want to go over some of the accessories that we picked up, which I have behind me right here, which is a snack tray, the ride on board, and additional seats, and if it's worth getting or not. So as we get into the stroll here, so the infant carrier comes with an insert right here, which we've taken out because our child got bigger, and actually we don't even use this anymore. We've actually gone to the two toddler seats. Um, the base itself right here, Okay, and I'm going to leave in the description below how to install this infant carrier and um, the seat here using both seat belt method and universal latch method. All right, so just check the description box below and I'll leave that down for you in the links there for you. But again, get back to the seat here. These, um, the Safe Max seat here, it's really good. Um, the material itself is, is nice, has a great material feel to it. Down the bottom right here as well too. The infant carrier comes with a five point restraint in the seat here, so the child's nice and safe in there. It has a lot of nice cushioning uh, side impact features to keep the, the child nice and snug. And in the event of a collision, it does keep them um, in good safety uh, measures there with the side impact um, tested on the seat there. The canopy folds back nice and smooth. There's no problems with the folding back motion there. All right. These bars, the top bar here folds back. So there's a button you press on this side and on the other side as well too. So when you hold them in together, you can fold the handle back. There's a handle back here, or underneath here, you're gonna see right there. That handle leases the carrier from the stroller itself here. And it also releases the carrier from the base when the base is installed in the vehicle. And it works really seamlessly. It's very easy to use, very easy to install in the car. And um, hands down, I, I, I believe it's, it's one, of, one of the most uh, user-friendly systems out there um, compared to our other system that we had prior to having our second child. But I highly recommend uh, this one's works really good. So. If you're in the market for the infant carrier and you're going to be having a second child, I'd strongly suggest picking up uh, something like this. All right. Moving on to the toddler seat. So the toddler seat comes with the canopy. The canopy also has a peekaboo window up top here so you can always check on your child through the mesh opening again this folds back relatively nice okay it has a support bar here for added um, security so if the child does unbuckle themselves this is a three point in here not unbuckle themselves but reaches forward um, this will secure them in the seat as well too it also comes with a, a multi uh, function or multi-position footrest so Again, this can conform into a bassinet and um, you can change the foot positions as well for your child. And uh, again, the material here is the same. It's a nice material. It's easy to clean. Uh, you can wipe it down. And um, the adjustable um, harness up here. And again, this relatively works uh, quite well to take this off the, the stroller base itself. You just push the side button in here and also on the other side there's a button over there, you press them together, lift it up, it comes off nice and smooth. You also find on the stroller it has a nice cargo 
basket down below. This cargo basket, they say, holds up to 10 uh, pounds of, uh, of weight. However, I believe it can hold a lot more than that. So I would say that they've underrated what it can hold in here. But I know for safety reasons, they have to have a, a weight limit on it. So we've uh, used this uh, a lot, filling it up with groceries and yeah, it could take a lot of weight in there. I'm gonna <laughs> say you can push it upwards of, I don't wanna really give you a number because I don't want you to <laughs> point fingers, but yeah, it can, it can hold a lot of weight and um, it's, it's really strong. It also comes with the, uh, the cup, holder, cup holder right here, so it can hold your standard bottle of water, all right, or cup or a drink from the store so that's not an issue there and um, the wheels that come with is a it's a foam type wheel so I find it does work on most terrain if you're gonna be going off-roading on a, a trail it might be a little a uh, little more difficult it doesn't have that ruggedness to it these are like a foam type tire so Again, you can push it on gravel, you can push it on um, grass. I pushed it uphill with both kids in it. Um, it's, it's been fine. It works very smooth if you're in a shopping mall. No issues there. Uh, the only thing I do find is if you are pushing the stroller and you get to, let's say, a curb um, where there's like a bit of a, like a little ramp on the curb, I find if there's a child sitting in the front uh, toddler seat here, these tires uh, seem to bump off that curb, so you, you have to be a little careful um, not ramming it into the curb. So if you find you're having a hard time getting up on the curb, what I do, I just turn the stroller around and just go up backwards and the big tires at the back take that no problem. All right, so there's some, some that's one of the cons I, I, I found with that. And oh, and getting to the, the sun shader before I forget, it, a little sh shy of uh, sometimes covering up the face so if this kind of came down a little more then uh, it would have been really really good um, however you can always still purchase a extra sun visor which we did that makes the the whole visor come straight down so that'll block the sun from your child or again because this thing does have 22 different positions you can just turn the seat around um, can play around with it it's works quite well and you have a lot of space in between the seats here so you're not bumping into each other or anything like that so again it is it's quite works quite well so moving on to the accessories the accessories here so the snack tray again the snack tray we we use quite often so this is a strongly highly uh, recommend it the snack tray clips into where the safety bar is. So the safety bar being this bar right here, the snack tray would replace it. So for example, it's just like clicking it in to this seat right here. If I can get that in. This is one hand, so it's a little more difficult, but that's how it snap in. Again, your child will be sitting just like that. So they have the snack tray in front of them. The kids love it. They're able to put their, their drink and their snacks in at the same time. I find the snack tray that it comes with is very useful. Sometimes we don't even use the snack tray. We just carry this uh, little small track snack tray itself. It snaps up, open hair and closes. You go on both sides. So you can put one on that side there. You can have a water sitting over there or vice versa. You can put the snack tray which snaps in right there have water over there so it works really well or again you can put some food in here kids love it so this, this is a great investment if you do go with this the stroller ride on bar board is also another nice touch as well too if you have a, a third child you can use that third child for this or if the toddler wants to ride on this board which one does um, most of the time they can have some enjoyment some fun on it it does say it has a, a uh, weight capacity limit of um, 50 pounds. I myself, I'm well over 150 pounds and I've kind of uh, had some fun on it myself. Wouldn't recommend doing that, but it did hold up to it. So I'm just saying that, um, again, 
the weight limits they're putting on this stroller is uh, quite reduced, but um, it can support some um, some good weight. And again, with these um, with the seats right here, the toddler seats, they do hold up to 55 pounds. Again, my child's not at the 55 pound weight level yet, uh, around 40 pounds right now. So I, I don't know how that's going to work out, but I'm quite sure that if they're saying 55 pounds, you may be able to exceed it. But I guess for safety reasons, we don't want to chance that or get that uh, that recommendation. But they are built really well, um, sturdy. Um, they've held up to the test for, for the use that we've had over the, the last three years. Again, um, no real signs of wear and tear. Well, if you look closely, like you might see like a little bit of a bit of the fabric right here peeling. But that's if, uh, if you're bumping it in the trunk of the car or or what's not. So that might be on our our fault here. So I wouldn't uh, blame that on even flow itself. But overall, um, the, the the pros versus the cons. I would say the pros are outweigh the cons on the stroller. Again, the only negative I had about it was the front tires leading up to a curb. Sometimes they just don't hop over quite well. So to fix that concern, you just go in the opposite direction, backwards. Um, and everything else is fairly um, fairly well done. Uh, the only other negative thing I will say is when using this infant carrier, when it's brand new, you do have to play around with this getting in and out of the module, the stroller uh, module itself. It sometimes feel a bit, um, I shouldn't say tight, but when you're putting it down the click, you have to wait, make sure it's clicked into place properly. And also you have to make sure these are aligned properly. After you, a few weeks usage, um, it just starts going to place quite well, quite easily. But that's just something you want to check on, um, having a newborn baby, that it is secure at all times. And also, uh, the stroller here, the handlebar comes in three different positions. So by pushing these buttons in here on both sides, you're able to adjust the bar up and down. It goes in a swivel motion. And to fold the stroller down, you have your release buttons here. So you pull them both in, stroller folds down. Uh, you can fold the stroller up with one toddler seat attached to it. It folds up pretty compact um, with or without it. Uh, we tend to take off the both seats and um, it stands up by itself. So we just put it in a standing motion inside the trunk. Uh, when I was using my vehicle, it fold down and just slide in and it's not a problem, not an issue. The weight of it, um, it's roughly 20, I believe 23 and a half pounds to 25 pounds. So it is relatively, has some weight to it. It's not super heavy, not not light, uh, super light, but um, it's durable, it's strong, and um, any, anybody can use it. All right, guys, so that's basically um, what I got for the, the review on this the stroller system here. If you have any questions or if you have any comments, please leave any comments down below. For, I'd like to hear your feedback on it. And again, guys, if this is your first time stopping by my channel, if you can consider subscribing to my channel, it really does help the channel out. Also hitting that thumbs up button helps get that algorithm out there to push the video content out for more viewers to see and help out parents that are in the market for this type of a, a seat or or stroller system and also turn on that post notification bell so you'll be updated when I release some new videos. Again guys, thanks for watching and to my subscribers I really appreciate the support and uh, please share the video and um, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks very much.